Hi, welcome to RLB Art Box Studio video instructions. For the month of March, we are creating a pastel drawing of owls. Step one, lay out all of your supplies and look over your visuals. Step two, locate a protector sheet, the reference card, a sheet of pastel paper, paper towels, and the pastels. Step two B, get your paper set up and begin drawing the owl of your choice. Use the owl drawing guide for specific instructions for each owl. Step 3A. Using the pastels, begin drawing the basic lines and shapes of your owl. Use the drawing guide as a reference. For the horned owl, we started with the brown pastel, but for the snow owl, we used blue, brown, and white in the beginning. Step 4A. Fill in the basic shapes and areas of your owl with the pastels. Follow the rule of lightest to darkest colors. Step 4B. You will be layering colors to create more visual interest. Step 5A. To blend the pastels, you have the option of using your fingers, which is messy, or the blending sticks included in your art box. 5B. Be sure to push the pastels into the paper by using your fingers or the blending sticks. Both work equally as well. Continue to layer on colors. The more colors you have, the more visually interesting this will be. Since pastels are messy, your fingertips will be full of color. To prevent any finger marks all over your drawing, you can use the tester strip, lay the tester strip down on your drawing, and rest your fingertips on that. Again, continue to layer on colors. Step six, soft chalk pastels create dust and are messy. Carefully shake the paper off periodically while working. Step seven, add details using the pastels and then later the charcoal. Details include shadowing, highlights, and texture. We will show you all of these techniques with both of the owls. Remember to shake off all that dust, blend, 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 layer, layer, layer. During this process, try really hard not to touch your face or your clothing. Otherwise, you will have pastel wherever you touch. It's happened to me before. When you're working with the white pastel, if it gets dirty, you can wipe it off on one of those tester strips and then you have a brilliant white again. Let's talk about the color black. Black is the most potent, the strongest color that there is. So I always try to use black lastly. Out of the two owls included in your art box, I would say that the horned owl is definitely a little more work, a little more labor intensive, but I feel that it has much more presence when looking at it. Be sure to give both of these a try. You will be amazed at what you can create. Like mentioned before, layering of the colors is what really makes this drawing or these drawings pop. So 
Don't be afraid to add many different layers of color. The charcoal included in your art box is called vine charcoal and it is made from the burning of grape vines. Charcoal can be used with other mediums such as pastels and it creates somewhat of a velvety look so don't be afraid to experiment with this. Step 8A. Once you have finished your owl drawing or drawings, you have the option of setting your pastels in place by using aerosol hairspray. To do so, you will carefully hold the can of hairspray approximately 10 inches away from your drawing and spray a light layer. Let dry, then repeat. Unfortunately, we cannot ship anything aerosol due to shipping regulations. Step 9. Congratulations on your finished work of art. Use all of these new techniques, skills, and supplies to make more artwork. Music 